Hello, we're here in a hypotherm lab and over the next couple minutes I'm going to show you how to rebuild your HPR torch. Now I've got here an HPR standard torch and an HPR XD torch. There's really two areas on the torch that should be rebuilt over time. Uh, the area on the back where the gas and the coolant come into the torch and the area on the front where the consumables attach to the torch. We recommend doing this at about every 500 arc hours, and this will help you maintain excellent cut quality and consumable life and extend the life of your torch. We have a torch rebuild kit that works both for the HPR standard torch and the HPR XD torch. Now let's get started. You only need a couple of simple tools, a pair of needle nose pliers and a small screwdriver or a pick. Now we will rebuild a brand new XD torch. So we'll take the needle nose pliers just grab onto each, each one of these plugs, give it a little yank, and they'll come right out. Uh, next, you see that there's a, uh, a small O-ring on the metal piece in the middle. Take your little pick and pull that out. So now we've got everything all set on that end of the torch. So we'll flip the torch over and take off these two thin O-rings. So we'll just give them a little squeeze, put our sharp tool in there and remove the o-rings. This one's being a little bit stubborn. There we go. So now we're all set. Make sure we have some clean hands and we will open up the contents of the rebuild kit. So we've got a little box here with a bunch of o-rings and plugs and some hypotherm silicone. So you'll have to put these o-rings onto the plugs. I've already done that and have put a little bit of silicone on them. First, we'll take that little o-ring and put it on right in the middle, just so we make sure we don't forget. You want to put a little bit of silicone on your fingers and make sure that that is lubricated. Next, we'll grab each one of the plugs, again, making sure that we've lubricated the O-rings before we install them, and just firmly press it in until it comes to a stop. So we're all set on this end of the torch. So we'll flip the torch over, and we'll grab our two thin black o-rings, put a little bit of lubricant on them, and then just slide them right over the torch. Now these are pretty pretty easy to go on. There's really one thing that you got to be concerned about. Uh, there's three grooves. You want to make sure that you get the o-rings in the correct two grooves. So um, to do that, there's a slot in the middle where coolant comes out. Make sure you don't put the o-ring in that slot. You'll see that there's a couple other items in the kit. Um, there's a big thick o-ring and that's that's for the receptacle uh, to change that o-ring there. There's also kind of a thin gasket o-ring and that's for the HPR standard torch and that's merely that that gasket o-ring right there. Now this torch rebuild kit is also in the system preventative maintenance kit which comes with coolant or without coolant. Now that we've rebuilt the the torch we're all set to install the hypotherm cons consumables and start cutting. <laughs> 